Hi everybody, it's Dave, Blue Jacket 66 here for another quick video. Just wanted to show you a few little pickups over the last week or two or so uh, that I got. I think you find it interesting, some vintage baseball, a little bit of basketball. You probably think I'm into basketball. I do have a lot of vintage sets and collect a little bit of basketball, really not modern basketball. I can't think of any mo basketball I have really post 19, I don't know, mid-70s or so. But a little bit of basketball and no football this time. Um, I think first off, I want to show a little shout out. Uh, got a card from our friend Abel in Vegas, Dave. There's another Brett for you. Uh, uh, he likes the blue on blue from Abel. I think Abel in Vegas is probably one of the most underrated channels on YouTube. I want to give him a shout out. I don't shout out many people anymore, but uh, he's got a fantastic channel, high tech, excellent quality, and he he breaks modern, he breaks, uh, he does Pokemon, he does Magic Gathering, he does all sorts of stuff. Uh, certainly modern basketball and, and baseball and just the coolest channel uh, and, he needs to, he should honestly have 10 times the subscribers he does. Abel in Vegas. Three words. Check him out. But he sent me this, Brett. Which I got this card and I was like, that looks familiar. From the Top X, the Steve uh, Aoki collection. You guys are probably familiar with it. I'm not. Not really into modern baseball. But I thought, that is a cool image, and I know that image. And the reason I know that image is because I just showed you a few videos ago from the Tops 2020, uh, this image by uh, Old Man Bamalam, or whatever his name is. So pretty cool. That's for that image, uh, two images. Really nice. This is actually so much better, so much better than uh, this 2020 stuff. But. So that was really cool, and thank you, Abel. Uh, the next thing I got is, uh, I got a stack of, uh, got a good deal on this. These 1977 tops, uh, really beautiful condition. A couple Dr. J's, a couple Kareem's, Five or six Dawkins, my man Pistol Pete, it's four of those. Robert Parrish, it's his rookie card. Tough to get great at high grade. I'll take a close look at that. Uh, a bunch of Moses Malone. So uh, I just happened to see those and got a good deal. And uh, so pick those up and I'll look those over and see what I want to do with those. Next. Check this out, 1960 tops, Willie Mays. 1960 is one of my favorite tops issues without question. Uh, we can talk about the color and the centering, but the centering is just primo. That line there is my Perfect fit. I, I put them in, what I do is when I put them in the perfect fits or whatever, I put them in upside down so that the seal isn't up top here. The seal's on the, the bottom of the card. So I always put them in upside down. So 1960 tops, Willie Mays. Get in on your Willie Mays, people. I don't know how much, much time you got, but get in on Mays. Um, what else do I got? Okay, for with my sets, I like putting wrappers in on the cover, cover of the binder if I can. I especially like doing that with my uh, uh, non-sport sets, like my Gilligan's Island. I got a wrapper for that, and those wrappers are rare. Um, my Mars Attacks. I'm trying to think if I have a wrapper. I don't think I have a wrapper for that, but a lot of my non-sport sets I do. 
and uh, not so much baseball, but some. So here's a couple wrappers that I picked up. And do you know what they are too? What issues? This is a wrapper for the 1951 Topps Bluebacks. Remember that set came in Redbacks and Bluebacks? I got both, this, both complete sets, both. So this is for the blue backs. <clears throat> two in every one cent pack. So a pack for a penny, two cards. And you can still get these. You can sometimes find these unopened uh, packs and uh, not very expensive actually. Not a very popular set. What about this one? You know what that's to? Hit Parade of Champions, that's just the big clue there, right? It's a 1951 Burke Ross wrapper. Of course, this is just one card of it. There was a card in the panel. There's two cards per panel. This is Eddie Waitkus. Did you know that his 1949 Bowman is considered by some or at least one person is one of the top 300 great cards of all time. Amazing. 1951 Burke Ross wrapper. Oh, what else we got here? Very recent acquisition. You guys love your 1956 Tops. I do too. I actually like the 60 better, but 1956 Tops Jackie. 6.5, again, centered uh, perfectly. It's gray back. That's a good one. So that's about it. I do have this interesting, in the background, I collect all sorts of stuff. And I saw this on eBay. I'm not sure when, four or five years ago. And what this is, is a ticket for faculty, staff, and students for the Alfred M. Langdon Lectures at Kansas State University on September 9th, 1982. And the speaker was the President of the United States, Ronald Reagan. Rest in peace. Um, I was there. I attended K-State from 1980 to 84. So this was pretty amazing when Reagan flew in on a helicopter, so I believe. Yeah, I can't remember where he landed, but I was lucky enough to attend this lecture. The Langdon lectures go back to the 60s. Uh, Robert F. Kennedy was a Langdon lecturer. Maybe I'll go back to the 50s or before that, but they'd have one every year. They were influential people, many times politicians. And the when I was, I was there four years, I saw two lectures. I saw this Reagan. And then in 1984, I was there um, for uh, Senator Edward Kennedy. And let me tell you something. Uh, most college students are, <laughs> I don't know. I, w I had uh, the same type of democratic leanings when I was 18, 19, and 20 as, as many people do. And then you start working hard and getting a job and uh, perhaps you're no longer such a dedicated Democrat. But I wasn't a Democrat, I voted for, uh, Reagan in 80. Um, but my point is, I don't know why I said all that. My point is, uh, Edward Kennedy's lecture and that Landon lecture, and it was just another lecture for him. I can't even remember what he talked about, but it was so moving and empowering and, uh, you can imagine seeing lectures or speeches of Robert F. Kennedy and John F. Kennedy 
it was exactly like that. The crowd was in the palm of his hand. It was unbelievable how great it was. I'll never forget it, how great that speech and lecture was and how moving it was. And I was lucky enough to kind of meet him afterwards. Uh, I was like right on his coattails and mugging up and got pictures taken with him. I still have it from the newspaper, me and the newspaper next to Senator Kennedy, but that was cool. Uh, the only reason I'm showing that is I have that on my, uh, I think one of my dressers with all my other knickknack stuff. And I thought, no, I'm gonna show that. Uh, it's graded by this PCGS grading company, the same people that grade all the currencies and uh, Collector's Universe company. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the cards and you guys uh, have a great rest of the week.